thing that I want to call out um, here are a couple of different ways to um, track citizenship status and immigration status. Um, and, the, and both of these uh, rely on our immigration status lookup. I've just put a quick link right up here so that we can all see and be on the same page. This lookup is where we kind of have the same, have uh, all of the various immigration statuses that folks want to track. So you can see whatever list this is, is um, you can customize and you can create to, um, and you can create to really satisfy whatever you're tracking. And what's really important here just to know is you can mark the different immigration statuses as LSC eligible if you're an LSC agency or agency el eligible. So you may have certain um, immigration statuses that you cannot serve, but you still want to track people who come in the door with those statuses. And so you can just set that to not agency eligible. The other thing that you can see and have here, we have some custom instructions. So these are instructions if you um, use the immigration status and select this immigration status on the immigration status uh, block, these instructions will come up. Also, you can select some supporting documentation. So if you have a uh, specific immigration status that you want to be able to collect what supporting documentation somebody is um, utilizing or has, um, this would be a, a drop-down list that is in the blog that you can populate with whatever documents you, um, you select. So I just wanted to call out that lookup. It has a lot of information tied to it. When I come in here to the actual, back to my immigration tools page, um, you can see we start with citizenship status and in legal server, it's pretty, um, you know, it's a, it's a binary for citizenship status because you're either a citizen or you're a non-citizen. But once we pick non-citizen, you can see we have all of the different um, immigration statuses with their eligibility, a place for the A number, and an expiration date. You see something slightly different on the immigration status block. So you have immigration status here. And again, you can have lawful permanent resident, any of these. And you can see that the supporting documentation changes, as does this uh, reg the um, instruction right here. And again, that's all set in the lookup for immigration status. So all of those changes are set up here. The difference between citizenship status and immigration status and those two blocks are really that citizenship status when you select non-citizen, it's only going to ask you for immigration status, A number, and the expiration date. The immigration status asks you for a little bit more granular information. Um, you can combine these fields together and these blocks together using branch logic, obviously. So, you know, whatever kind of setup and combination you want, you know, you can get there through, uh, through a combination of those blocks and some branch logic. 